This video was sponsored by oddbeachexpress.com. Oddbeach Express Stock Media by subscription is a new site that offers high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Their content includes stock footages up to 5K resolution, music, sound effects, images, and After Effects templates. Sign up today for a free account at oddbeachexpress.com and receive 19 free pre selected stock media downloads. No credit cards, payments, or obligations required. Create your free account today. What is happening everyone and welcome to this After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you my own time remapping technique in Adobe After Effects. So this is one of the most simplest VFX that you can add to your videos and have them that awesome production quality effect. Okay, this works in creating awesome beautiful establishing shots. This works in music videos. This works in any kind of video that you're into and it's very simple to do. Okay, so gives you production quality very simple to do and what else can you ask for right so uh, I'm gonna get to the tutorial right away because I have quite a lot of explaining and showing to do. so uh, the first thing I'd like to say is that before getting into the tutorial let me show you what is a wrong way of doing it okay and this I've seen a lot of people do which is not the right way because this creates workflow problems and this is not very adjustable not very flexible if you want to move things right at the end at the final moment you feel like oh no no this this the speed up can be a little bit longer it can be a little bit slower or it can be a faster if you change anything right now things are gonna mess up and it's not very nice because let me actually play it for you and you guys can see this so the speed up starts very randomly starts abruptly there's no ease in the keyframes but right at the end over here there is this very bad you know awkward slow motion effect you can see that there are those drop frames and this is not what we want this is not what anyone wants and we want to avoid uh, this abrupt starting okay abrupt ending and most importantly we want to avoid this dirty slow motion at the end okay so i hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started so i have created my composition i'm going to take my video drop it down here and guys, this video is brought to you by Oddbeach Express. This is an amazing video. You can check it out. It's available for download on Oddbeach Express. Uh, I'll leave the link to this in the description for you guys to check out and uh, follow along, right? So the first thing that you want to do, if you if you are applying to have a time remap effect in your videos, the first thing that you want to do is you want to shoot accordingly okay you have to have length on your side guys the fps doesn't matter some people are confused that you need to have a 60 fps or higher to create this sort of effect that is not right that is not the case you can create this with 23 30 fps as you can see i'm working with 30 fps so 30 fps is definitely possible but you need to have length on your side meaning you need to have a long video so even though the video the final effect is only going to be for four seconds the video needs to be of at least 30 40 seconds only then we can time remap it properly if you have like a five or six second shot you cannot expect a very good time remap from it okay so remember that next when you have things in after effects when you have your project open without even calculating without even looking at anything the first thing that you want to do is that when you bring your base video your original video clip into a composition just right click on it for a time time stretch and bring this number down to 50 don't even think about it don't even look around you know just trust me on this guys bring it down to 50 what this is gonna do is it's gonna speed the full video up by two percent or actually by twice the speed okay so it's gonna be double fast um, and that is what we want now awesome people will we'll pre-comp it so select this video right click pre-compose and we will call this 01 underscore base video click OK and this is going to be in a pre-composition that's superb now do a right click go to time enable time remapping okay now we want to now, now you basically have to look around in your footage what do you want where do you start the effect where do you end the effect what do you want to focus on so for example I want to start my effect at 15 frames okay or actually I'm going to start my video at 15 frames excuse me and I'm going to start my effect that super speed sort of effect at one second okay so i'm going to create two keyframes right there so 15 seconds or 15 frames sorry is my starting point and one second is the effects starting point i'm going to move ahead in time i'm going to see what i like see what i like switch it off see what i like and i'm not really liking anything but boom 
check this uh, awesome pillar out right this this is, this is the thing that I want to focus on so I'm gonna go right there maybe to 15 frames 915 and I'm gonna create a keyframe there okay I'm gonna go to the round off figure so if you're ever stuck in a situation where you're going to 903 928 828 or basically a very uneven figure right something like this you want to create a keyframe there okay and then you want to basically go to the next second mark so for example this is 818 you want to go to 9 seconds and you want to create a keyframe there so in my case it's gonna be 915 is my effects stop point right so I'm gonna go I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a keyframe there go to 10 frames or sorry 10 seconds and create a keyframe right there right this is gonna serve as the speed up points now you remember what I told you guys about this bad uh, slow motion effect this is not gonna happen with us okay trust me on this so let me close this and now guys you just have to bring these two keyframes closer to each other and the best part is let me actually just preview this first so you guys can see this we're having the speed up effect we're gonna have the you know the you know the the abrupt start and the abrupt end but if I was to preview this ahead you will see that we are not having any you know uh, what do you say drop frames or you know awkward slow motions you're gonna have we're gonna have a proper smooth effect right check that out that is superb now the only problem that is still there in the video is that there is, it has that abrupt keyframe now how do you fix it very easy select the keyframes don't hit the f9 key okay a lot of people will just hit the f9 key and be like oh yeah we're done no that's not it go to the graph editor and you'll see that the problem is there in these two keyframes sorry in these two keyframes okay nothing is wrong with this this is superb this is superb too this is wrong so select these two keyframes they're actually being split up hold on the alt key and click on them and then this is going to cause that nice beautiful dome uh, dome sort of, sort of shape now if you preview this it's going to take a little time i'm sorry guys but bear with me boom right smooth slow motion effect so let's preview this now starts and then it ends properly now what you want to do is you want to add a little more blurriness into the shot right so for example if I preview this you can see that right here there's a little bit of blur now how do you add that very easy select the base or composition go to FX and presets and type in force motion blur right this is the effect it's gonna make things a little bit difficult to render but definitely worth it guys now when you apply it nothing is gonna happen because we need to switch on the motion blur for the video so let's click over here click over there and boom see that guys awesome awesome effect right and again like I said this is gonna make things a little bit difficult to render for me uh, for, for the preview at least but definitely worth it effect right this is gonna add production quality it's gonna really uh, you know make viewers see that okay wow he added you know he took the time to create this video he added some VFX into it and this is gonna look really really nice you have to combine this with good music videos and it can create some good uh, you know establishing shots like your character went from this part of town to that part of town or you want to create a music video where couples are dancing that they spin really fast slow down you know, want to have a nice fight scene add drama into the scene things are turning around to face off sort of effect it you know this this is this is crazy guys you can do tons of tons of things with this so again awesome awesome vfx right simple vfx that can be done by anyone and one that is being used like crazy in trailers in movies in serials in basically everywhere right so that is how you do it that's a proper technique guys you do this and at the end there's not going to be anything okay we can move ahead and you're gonna have this nice slow like perfect motion video okay with the wrong way we're never gonna have that so again for wrapping things up never work with the video okay and uh, watch my tutorial subscribe to my channel like this video do all of that and uh, you need to shoot properly too okay the video has to be long you cannot expect a five second video to create a good time remap you need to have at least 30 40 seconds of the video all right so uh, that is how you do this uh, thank you for watching my video guys. My name is CJ Style and I will see you all next time with another awesome tutorial. Please subscribe, like my video and I will see you next time. Take care everyone.